Are you wondering what's the best budget camera for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. In today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best budget cameras on the market. This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Ok, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Sony Alpha A6000. While the Sony A6000 may not ooze retro cool, it ticks all the essential boxes that any budget camera should. It's lightweight, it doesn't take up much space, it has plenty of control for even demanding enthusiasts, and it can make use of some excellent compact lenses. Design-wise, when you pick up the Sony A6000 for the first time, two things are instantly noticeable. The plush grip and the solid build quality of the body. Though the camera is mostly plastic on the outside, it has a durable magnesium alloy chassis inside. On the back of the camera is a tiltable LCD screen, which is joined by an electronic viewfinder. Moreover, despite its small size, the A6000 gives you full DSLR control and immediate access to the functions you need to shoot like a pro. Two dials on top and a rear-mounted control wheel allow quick selection of shooting modes and camera settings. Moving on, as standard, the A6000 is packaged with a 16-50mm f3.5-5.6 to lens. It's an excellent all-around performer for your first optic, giving you a good range of different focal lengths, and you can also get some pleasing shallow depth of field effects while using it. As for performance, built around a 24-megapixel APS-C sensor, hybrid autofocus and continuous shooting speeds up to 11 frames per second, the Sony A6000 promises the shooting style and image quality of a DSLR in a compact package. Along with a faster speed, the Bions X processor facilitates a maximum sensitivity speed of ISO 25600. We must mention that with the Sony A6000, you can record your videos at the highest resolution of 1920x1080 at 60p, 60i, 24p FPS, and save in MPEG-4, AVCHD, and XAVCS formats. Additionally, sharing has never been so easy. Inbuilt Wi-Fi and NFC technology connectivity allow you to control your camera with your compatible smartphone or tablet. Battery life doesn't seem too bad, probably due to the small sensor size, which is positive news. You'll probably still need to purchase an additional battery if you're planning on taking the A6000 on any long trips, though, just to be on the safe side. Overall, the Sony Alpha A6000 is excellent for anyone on a budget looking to shoot stills and video, photographers wanting something small but capable, or amateur sports shooters. At number 4 is the Panasonic Lumix GX85 camera. For today's interchangeable lens camera enthusiasts or anyone looking for a lighter, newer, more intelligent alternative to bulky DSLRs, the Panasonic Lumix GX85 camera delivers an impressive no-compromise performance. Design-wise, the GX85 viewfinder is large and comfortable. It has a decent grip and a tilting touchscreen display, with both front and back dials giving direct access to most controls. The camera measures 4.8 by 2.8 by 1.7 inches and weighs 426 grams before you mount a lens. The Lumix GX85 includes a 12 to 32 mm kit lens which is a 24 to 64 mm equivalent wide to short tele to pair well with the compact camera body. Plus, with multiple lens choices, you can expand and enhance your creative possibilities with 27 lens options, which is the most of any mirrorless camera system available today. Moving on, an integrated 2764K dot electronic viewfinder improves viewability under harsh sunlight and promotes improved shot framing posture for added handheld stability. Performance-wise, the GX85 uses a 16-megapixel live MOS sensor that's capable of capturing clear, high-resolution stills as well as 4K video. The sensor's design omits an optical low-pass filter in order to achieve a high degree of sharpness and resolution, 
and its design also has a sensitivity range from ISO 200 to 25600 to suit working in a variety of lighting conditions. Additionally, the Lumix GX85 can shoot high-quality images using a new 5-axis dual image stabilizer and an electromagnetic shutter drive. The GX85 records high-resolution 4K video with 8-megapixel photo extraction and captures 4K photos using three exclusive modes, including 4K Burst, 4K Burst Start-Stop, and 4K Pre-Burst. Furthermore, the Lumix GX85 enables 4K live cropping during video recording and has a built-in stereo microphone which can be used during recordings and features an integrated wind cut filter for cleaner audio quality when shooting outdoors. We like to mention the Wi-Fi connectivity for instant image sharing. Once you connect the camera to a smartphone or tablet, installing the Panasonic Image app is simple and allows you to shoot, browse, and share images remotely. To conclude, the Panasonic Lumix GX85 packs a host of advanced technologies in a light and compact body which means you'd want to take it wherever you go, and it's one we would recommend. At number 3 is the Canon PowerShot SX620 Digital Camera. The PowerShot SX620 is a compact super zoom camera designed for getting you close to the action, thanks to a new 25x optical zoom. This stylish camera is excellent for capturing precious moments when a smartphone snap simply won't cut it. Design-wise, the PowerShot SX620HS has a sizable front finger ridge and a more generously sized rear thumb rest, which helps make it sit more securely in hand. It measures 96.9 by 56.9 by 27.9 mm and weighs 182 grams. The build quality remains high, with premium plastics accented with tactile metal details. There's also a metal tripod mount, a rare luxury at this price point and you can choose from black, red, and white case colors. As for performance, the Canon PowerShot SX620 features a new 25x optically stabilized lens, giving a 35mm equivalent focal length of 25 to 625mm and slightly faster maximum apertures at either end of the range. Plus, the SX620 offers a 20.2 megapixel back illuminated CMOS sensor, Digic 4 Plus processor, with a continuous shooting speed of 2.5 frames per second. In addition, the Canon SX620 has a 3-inch LCD screen, and viewing angles and color accuracy are still top-notch. Moving on, if you'd prefer to take control of things like ISO sensitivity and white balance, you can by pressing the Function Set button in the middle of the D-pad below and choosing the Program Auto Mode from the Quick Settings menu that pops up. This menu also contains the various scene modes which can be manually selected when photographing tricky subjects, like fireworks, nighttime, or snow scenes. Let's talk about the battery life, which can reach 295 shots per charge. This can be increased to 406 shots by using the Eco Mode, which conserves power by dimming the display after just a couple of seconds in activity, and turning it off altogether shortly afterward. Pressing any button will restore life instantly. The effect is somewhat like a start-stop system on a modern car. Overall, the Canon PowerShot SX620HS remains a perfectly good budget camera that still wipes the floor with most smartphones in terms of image quality and is one we would highly recommend. At number 2 is the Canon EOS Rebel SL2 DSLR camera. As a DSLR aimed at amateurs, the Canon Rebel SL2 comes with features for those who want to learn more about photography while still being able to make use of pre-programmed and automatic functions. Design-wise, the EOS Rebel SL2 is a small and lightweight entry-level DSLR, measuring 4.82 by 3.65 by 2.75 inches and weighing in at 16 ounces without the lens, with an option for an EF-S 18-55mm kit lens. It's available in a choice of black or white, and the grip is deeper, more along the lines of a traditional DSLR which adds a little bulk but offers a more ergonomic handhold. The camera features a fully articulating screen and even offers a selfie mode that allows beginners to control the amount of background blur without the need to understand how the aperture works. On to performance, the SL2 features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and a vari-angle touchscreen 3-inch LCD. 
It also sports dual-pixel CMOS autofocus with phase detection and has a low-pass filter, which is great when you're shooting stills in live-view mode and during movie recording. You can record incredibly smooth video at full HD quality and add up to 60 frames per second to create vlogs with a professional flair. The built-in microphone helps capture great audio while a port for an external microphone is included for more recording options. Moving on, to help budding photographers, you have a feature assistant, which shows on the Vary Angle touchscreen how different camera settings, such as aperture and exposure compensation, will affect the image you are preparing to capture. This will help you determine which settings you'll need to freeze or blur a subject, or have a shallow depth of field. Moreover, as is standard now on most cameras, there's built-in Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth connectivity. So, those used to quickly sharing their images on social media should be able to carry on where they left off. You'll just need to download the free app to take advantage of this. Overall, it's lightweight, fun, and easy to use. The Canon EOS Rebel SL2 camera helps you capture stunning photos and videos you'll love to see and share. And it gets a big thumbs up from us. At number 1 is the Nikon D5300 Digital SLR Camera. The Nikon D5300 is ideal for anyone new to photography who wants the option to swap the lens or lenses in use and get creative. This budget buy provides enough growing room for those just getting started. From a design viewpoint, in a break from convention, the camera comes in glossy red or a gunmetal gray alongside the standard black. Also unusual is the single shell construction known as monocoque, manufactured from carbon fiber reinforced plastic. It's compact and measures 4.9 by 3.9 by 3 inches and weighs just 16.9 ounces. On the back of the camera is a large 3.2 inch vary angle full tilt swivel LCD monitor which provides terrific shooting flexibility. This is paired with Nikon D5300 DSLR camera with 18 to 55 mm kit lens. Let's look at the performance. The D5300 uses a 24.2 megapixel DX CMOS sensor X-Speed 4 image processing engine with an extra large ultra high resolution vary angle LCD which swivels 180 degrees so you can shoot from great new angles. Hold the camera overhead for super shots over a crowd, or hold the camera down low for a fun face-to-face -face perspective of your pets and create some of your best selfies yet. In addition, whether shooting stationary subjects, candid photos, high-speed action, or full HD video, the D5300 keeps everything in focus. Its 39-point high-density autofocus system quickly locks onto your subject and follows it across the frame. In terms of suitability for low-light photography, the D5300 offers a core ISO range that can be boosted from ISO 12800 to a setting equivalent to ISO 25600, while full HD video recorded with stereo sound recording should be more than capable for everyday use. The camera's built-in Wi-Fi functionality stands out as a highlight, and when used with the Nikon app, you can transfer files to connected smartphones and tablets and also will allow for remote control operation of the camera in live view mode. One final point is the camera is powered by a rechargeable lithium ion battery pack, EN-EL14A, and comes with a dedicated quick charger. The battery is SEPA rated for 600 shots on a single charge, which is good. To conclude, the Nikon D5300 is entry level when it comes to ease of use, but decidedly high end in terms of image quality and features. It's a fantastic package, and that's why it tops our list. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.